Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's going on. In today's edition of the Brazil Times, we met over the phone Denny Bell. Denny Bell is a Clay County native who uh, recently earned the Master Farmer Award. And I think we mentioned this to you yesterday. Well, his whole story is in today's printed edition of the Brazil Times. You'll want to check that out and what it means to be a master farmer. But more importantly to me, anyway, it tells the story of a man who uh, lost his farm fresh out of college. And uh, then he uh, worked his way back up, uh, created and sold two companies, gained enough money that he could go back into farming, and now he's a master farmer. And just a great guy. I enjoyed talking to him. Hey, if you want to uh, contribute to uh, this uh, conversation that we're having, just leave a comment, and uh, well, I'll read your comment, and uh, we can just uh, keep that going. But we're glad to see everybody who's showing up today. The City of Brazil has several meetings scheduled in the coming weeks, and we tell you about that in today's edition of the Brazil Times. Um, let's see here. Indiana State Police report a Clay County man died Monday as a result of a single vehicle crash on Interstate 465 in Indianapolis. Trinity Shaw, age 36, was pronounced dead at the scene, which was near the 36-mile marker on the highway's westbound lanes. State police are still investigating what caused the crash. Preliminary indications are that Shaw's 2002 Chevrolet ran off the road to the left and struck the concrete median wall. National Night Out was last night. Did you get over there for that? Good morning, John. Glad to see you today. Uh, I did not get over there. However, we were out and about, and uh, we saw the lightning streaking down, and we saw the rain hitting the car, and it was, it was quite exciting for a few minutes. But uh, at any rate, it looks like they had a great time, and... Uh, Miss Ivy, Ivy Jacobs, has a, uh, several photos in today's edition of uh, the Brazil Times. John and Lisa Kokenauer are also on the front page uh, today. They were invited to attend the Brickyard 400 last month. They had no idea they were about to become a part of Brickyard history. When they arrived, they not only had seats, but those seats were in the pits and... When they looked at uh, the uh, race car uh, sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance, there on the back, uh, spoiler, I think that's what that's called, Kokenauer Insurance was emblazoned there in white for everyone to see. I don't know if that made the, the TV broadcast or not, but that's really cool. Anyway, John and Lisa had an excellent time, and uh, congratulations to them because uh, Kokenauer Insurance has been one of the top ten agencies for growth in Indiana in three of the past four years uh, for auto owners insurance. Let's see, what else do we have going on here? We have uh, obituaries on page two, as usual. The Clay County Humane Shelter. If you want to look at some really cute dogs and cats, that's the place to go, and maybe you can adopt one. I don't know what we do without our dog. I really don't know. Our cat, eh, you know. No, I'm kidding. I love our cat, too. But uh, at any rate, we love our dog, and uh, uh, he is truly part of the family. Our cat, on the other hand, she's a, a visitor and thinks she owns the place, but that's that's just the way cats are. Uh, Brazil Buzz, Mary Lou Sarter is making an appearance. And she's remembering Alabama Street School and growing up in Brazil. So I'm sure that will be important uh, to a lot, of, uh, a lot of folks. More funeral home. More funeral home. That's what our Clay County through the years is all about. William W. Moore Sr., the founder of the uh, Moore Funeral Home. They came to America in 1804 from County Tyrone, Ireland, and they bought a farm at New Hope, Pennsylvania. And uh, you can read more about their family history and uh, Moore Funeral Home. Now, I never knew Robert. I never knew Bob Moore. I knew Robert, his son, and uh, he was a great guy. I really appreciated 
uh, Robert, and I, I wish he and his wife Vanita well, wherever they are. But we used to even talk uh, publishing, because <laughs> as, this may be a shock, but as you know, sometimes we make mistakes in the newspaper. I, I know that's hard to believe, but if you look real close, you can find them. Anyway, Rob was telling me that he worked for a company that bought a full-page color ad in one of the major weekly news magazines. I think maybe it was Time. And he said that everybody checked the ad, and it was approved, and they sent it on to Time magazine. And lo and behold, there was a major mistake that was their fault, not the magazine's fault. So it happens to the best of us. But anyway, I wish you well, Rob, wherever you are. And if you know Rob and uh, see him or talk to him, uh, send him my greetings, would you? Okay, very good. All right, and then we have our entertainment page with Wednesday and Thursday's uh, TV listings in it. And we got more 4-H fair results. Hey, I know some people were questioning, asking us, when are you going to put in the dairy show results? Well, today we've got the results of the fair dairy show. We've got the sheep show results. We've got the calf show uh, heifer results and uh, just all kinds of things to remind us of what a great fair we had and let's see here congratulations to Martha Knox Martha was the recipient of uh, a Keurig coffee maker from Indiana Farm Bureau and uh, we have her picture along with uh, Nathan Beckett on the back page she won that drawing and we also have a picture on the back page of, uh, uh, we've got Corey Lookabill, we've got uh, Nicole Fry, and uh, they are drawing for uh, the winner of a uh, grill that was given to employees, uh, to an employee of Great Dane. But the big thing is, the big news is that uh, uh, the employees of Great Dane donated seven Thousand, more than 7,000 bottles of water to help the youth food program in Clay County. Just my, my, my. Tremendous thing, tremendous thing. All right, well, there's a lot more on our website and a lot more I didn't cover in our newspaper, so I hope you pick it up. Let's see here, what does it say here? Leela Karen Short just shared your video. Let them know you appreciate it. Hey, I do appreciate you sharing and... Uh, uh, I hope more people will share. Thank you. Just got a thumbs up, and uh, that's, a, that's a great thing. We do this for you, you know. We really do, because uh, uh, we're here to serve our wonderful community, and I mean that. I've lived here in Clay County for almost 16 years now, and uh, uh, we love Clay County. We truly do, and uh, we're glad to be part of it. Hey, we'll catch you later. This is Frank Phillips in the Brazil Times Newsroom. Have a wonderful day, won't you?